Yes, everyone, you've read that correctly. I will be doing the A Hat in Time A Button Challenge. And what the A Button Challenge is, basically, I'm trying to play through as many levels as possible without ever using the A Button. Now, of course, that won't be possible for every single level. It won't be possible for a full playthrough. But we're gonna try and get as close as possible every, as we can. And maybe at the very end, we will have a map of the game with every level that is possible to be beaten without A Button and all the minimum required A button presses to beat the game. If you've watched Pan and Coke, it will kind of be similar to that, though obviously I don't quite know as much about the inner workings of the game as someone like Pan and Coke does with Mario 64. But we're gonna try and get in there. We're gonna go for to all these different levels. I'm gonna do it on stream where I just take a level. I'm gonna be like, okay, let's do some research. What can we do with the moves that we have without the A button? In order to do all that, I will allow pretty much every single hat, every single badge, apart from mods. Of course, I will not be allowing mods. I will be entering the stage with a specific selection of badges and a specific hat equipped. And I'm gonna go from there. So we're gonna do a lot of research, a lot of testing, a lot of practicing, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. It's gonna be very interesting, very challenging as well. It's probably the most challenging challenge that you can possibly do, probably, for a game like this. And we're gonna see how far we can get. And of course, if there are people out there who know about the inner workings of the game, of course, maybe we can try and get those people in as well and figure out some stuff to break the game in ways that help us fulfill our goal. And I think I can probably already show a little bit of stuff off because I've actually figured out with the very first stage of Mafia Town already without the A button. Not that that's too big of a deal, but I guess I'll put this in this video as well just to give you guys a little bit of a a little bit of a well show off of what this might look like. So without the A button, of course, what do, what can we actually do? Well, we can activate hats, for example. We can attack. We can use the hook shot. We can to some degree still jump, we just have to use the uh, the dive as you can see. We can press the dive button to do the dive and then we can also press the dive button again to cancel the dive. We do not need the A button to cancel the dive. And what this allows us to do is we can do stuff like this, where we can do this, a dive, cancel it, and then get up on top of a ledge by cancelling the dive next to a wall and then doing a wall run. This is going to be very interesting because if I do the wall run in such a way that I actually grab the ledge, I cannot get up. It doesn't need to do the A button to get up, and pressing the dive button makes you drop. So we'll make sure that I need to do a wall run, and not a ledge grab. This will add a little bit of interesting depth to it. And by using these strategies, you can actually get around quite nicely in some areas. And as you can see right there, you can also boost, especially with the no bonk badge equipped. Uh, that helps me doing some crazy stuff as well. So the no bonk badge will be an absolute star in this run. And with that, you can do some really cool stuff. Now in this stage, for example, you don't actually need to do that much crazy stuff. You can just keep going very normally. Not ever pressing the A button. It's, it's fairly simple. Of course, the first stage would be very simple. The second stage is going to be a lot more interesting than this. But like I said, I just want to do this for... To show off a little bit of what it, the run might look like. And then we just need the X button a bunch. Now, of course, we need to get the timepiece as well. And the timepiece is not quite on the ground exactly, but that's okay because we kill this guy fairly close to the stairs. Well, I killed him closer to the stairs last time, but we can just kill him close enough to the stairs so that when we dive down like this, we grab the timepiece. Alternatively, we could have also gotten on the well if it was close enough to the well and then jump off the well. Stuff like that. So, yeah, as you can see from the time, that's very lead and yeah. We are going to try and do that as much as possible in the entire game. So look out for that. It's going to be amazing. Oh yeah, and it's it's on my Twitch channel. I probably should have said that. I'm going to go on my Twitch channel. Link to that is in the description. I'm also going to have a pace bit with a bunch of rules that are also good, but going to be in the description. I don't have a specific schedule for it yet, but probably, probably Monday through, uh, not Monday, Tuesday through Friday for every day at around 21 CEST. That's not 100% accurate, probably, because sometimes I meet with friends and I don't know that beforehand, but that's at least the uh, the goal for now. Every day, or not every day, Tuesday to through Friday, both days included, around 21 or 22 CEST. So yeah, that's what the, it's gonna be like. Hope you see you guys there.